Good afternoon, everyone. The strange, cold, wet weather we've had this year globally, ushering in new strains of wheat rust never seen before. And now they're spreading through Europe, Africa, and Central Asia. Hard freeze continues to extend down through the Southeast United States. Orchards gone. Blossoms anywhere in the Stella area also covered in ice. New Zealand largest annual food price rise in five years. Carrot prices hit all time highs. And using technology to buy local produce using WhatsApp. This is the future and how you're going to trade locally. And while you're watching the video, please remember to subscribe to Adapt 2030 and join me on iTunes and Stitcher Radio for many Ice Age conversations, where I'm going to be loading up a new episode talking about Arabica coffee in Myanmar. New FAO report out talking about wheat rust alerts. New strains of wheat rust are spreading unchecked across Europe, Africa, and Central Asia. These new types of fungal diseases can cause 100% losses. They've never seen anything like this before. Mediterranean areas seem to be most affected by the new rust. The record cold and record snows across the area this year. These new pathogens are coming in after cold damage. They even have entirely new strains they haven't even named yet. And now they're trying to fight an outbreak of yellow rust from Ethiopia all the way over to Uzbekistan. And the regularly established yellow rust mixing with these new strains emerging are forecast to absolutely devastate wheat crops, especially across Ethiopia, the Middle East, Egypt, anywhere where they have had unusual cold and unusual rain patterns. Speaking of cold, back on the 14th, the late season blizzard Stella rips across the New England states. Hard freeze warning Southeast US continue to push further south. They're gonna be setting record cold records anywhere you see blue here, especially down in that Florida panhandle area. Americanfarm.com, Talking about the early spring has these orchard growers worried about frost damage and how they can defend against it. If it gets too cold, they're looking at 70% losses at the minimum. We need to jump over to the DC area. This is what the cherry blossoms look like encased in ice. That cold front here on Null School, you can see it pushing all the way down to Florida. Bermuda just had record cold. And I've been following this story here with the severe frost and unusual cold damaging Ukraine's winter grain crops. They're already forecasting losses and less exports than last year. I'll keep you covered on this one as it moves forward. More information coming at the end of the month here. Down in Oceania, New Zealand, largest annual food price rise in five years. So my question to you is, if your food prices are rising, what are you going to stop spending money on first? And if you have an answer for that, you can see how the economy of New Zealand will move, shape, and morph as people's spending habits change. Why not here for you? And jumping over to Fresh Plaza, carrot prices all-time high in New Zealand. And Tasmania, they had unusual snow as well as cold and wet this year. The apple harvest obviously down due to the low pollination and bad weather. The U.S. is going to experience the same thing. The bees and the pollen, the flowers are just not going to be there after this freeze damage. Panama experiencing watermelon and onion losses due to floods. Still to count the damage in the U.S. and California over those last couple of weeks with the arc storms coming through. Dutch bell pepper production delayed. Again, that'll follow on the heels with the Spanish losses this year. Anywhere in Greece, Italy, Cyprus, that whole area, lost production due to record snows and cold. But if you're a farmer and you're growing Valencia oranges, especially in Australia, the damage that has occurred is going to keep these prices high for years. And looking out into the future trends of how we're going to trade, grow, and consume our food products, India, using WhatsApp to buy local produce. 
Now, the most popular WhatsApp, that's available and open in China. They have WhatsApp Pay. They do all types of things with it already electronically, digitally in China. It seems to be moving through Asia. In the West, the app Line that comes from Korea, that's really popular in Taiwan and all through Asia as well, where it's not blocked. China blocks Line. People are also buying and selling on this. You can order half a kilogram to a kilogram and they can deliver it to your home from a local farmer. This also helps reduce the food waste and keep that money in the local area. And remember, we're gonna start to move and shift to a more locally produced type of agricultural consumption pattern as the grand solar minimum intensifies. This right here, the future of our local farmers and you, the local consumer. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. And talking about all of these crop losses occurring, I encourage you to jump over to Trade Genius. Talk with Bob Kudla there. He is really following and trading on the grand solar minimum effects and where they see through cyclical patterns of history where the crop losses are going to intensify, which grains and softs are going to be most heavily affected and how you can stay ahead of the changes and also prosper during this time.